We're similar to the Jack one. No. Yeah. So, uh, what? You want to talk about? Yeah. So, um, so everyone talk about those things, all right? Just uh, if you think other people's the you know the view perspective is good, you can combine into your quiz, okay? And not just only you, because this is a um, discussion, okay? So we can, if you think other people talk about this very, it's a good point. You can just always like put into your quiz, okay? Then just to combine them together and submit through the um, through the um, Moodle, okay. Um, just the type of SD, you know, okay. Don't just the scan to me, all right, all right. Any question? Question? Good. So um, we just keep continue talk about software engineer, okay. So first. What's the purpose of a science? Yeah, what's the purpose of science? Human what? Human problems. Make your life easier. Anything else? Disprove what? Okay. So science basically helps you to understand and this discrete the complex system. Okay, but not compl complicated system. It's complex. Okay, because each system, they probably got different branch. Based on different branch, they have different pieces. They combine them together. Okay, probably it's hierarchical. Okay, you need to understand, try to figure out this system. Okay, and using the system to help you to explain, to help you to demonstrate this science. Okay, so for example, natural science, help you to understand the natural and the subsystem. Social science. Help you to understand human being, right? Because when we're doing the social, basically this is a science. Why you when you say something, you make people to laugh, people to people sad, 
make people angry, right? Those things people want to investigate. Those is social science. Okay. Also, there's other type of uh, artificial system. Okay, like space shuttle, like some system reservation system, like stock trading system. Okay, those are artificial systems, which is the science we're trying to understand, trying to explore, okay, computer science. So computer science is also a science, help you understand and explain what is the system, what is computer system, okay? So you can tell there's many methods have been used to investigate for the natural, social science, right? Cognitive science to invest in them, correct? Right? No matter what, you know, some survey, some interview, right? Even some method help you to get some result from that science. Basically, we can use them to apply to our computer science. Right? Think about it. when we're doing, so last the question, last the class, we leave the question, right? From the civil engineering, from mechanical engineering. But they basically, most of the part, like a life cycle, some technique can be used in a computer science. Why we call, okay, computer science is also, it's software engineering. This is engineer. We follow the rules, the engineering just a set, right? We, we have design paths. We have maintenance. We have testing. We have implementation. All those stuff you can apply to the engineering, right? For example, when you're doing a craft, you need design, right? Before you design, you need to know the problem. After that, because some people, okay, I want to drive fast, right? I want to go to the destination very fast, no traffic. That's a problem. That's one we can solve. Then you design, okay? How we can design something to achieve our goals? Like a bird, maybe? So that's the people inspired from a bird. Okay, I, I want to design a craft. But this design process is not easy, right? When you design them, you have to think about it. Is that using the, the physics style, right? Is that a balance? Can we use something engine to make the fly? How to make the balance? How to make it tense? Can we, can we do the backward? Right? Even for the helicopter, it's another style, right? Inspired with a fly dragon. Not from bird. All those things, okay, the soft engineering part, they come from an engineer. Right? So we apply those life cycles to our new science, which is computer science. That's what we call the modeling. So modeling, the model, okay, is abject representation of a system which enable us to answer questions about system. To help you to visualize the system you want. Okay? 
some system, okay, probably we can prove something no longer exists. Or something already exists, but no one found it. For example, 100 years ago, people found a very big bone. They cannot recognize where that come from. Is it that from the elephant? No. It's not like an elephant bone. What's that? They try to fix this with some the model, okay, based on skeleton of animal. Skeleton of elephant, giraffe. This is a system they try to fix. Then they find out there is something no longer exists, but they exist in the earth before, which is dinosaur, right? If we don't have this knowledge, we don't have that modern, people is not easy to imagine, visualize those bones. They can even know this is a bone from the foot or it's a hat. If you don't have any knowledge about a hat, if you don't have that knowledge, how you assemble this? Right? How about DNA? They exist in our body. If you don't have the system, how you can recognize they exist? Right? So we're trying to using a software engineering model to help you to solve the problem. Okay, those are five steps to help you to solve the problem. Okay, first step, we need to formulate the problem. What's the problem? How specific of the problem? Your problem can be understood by other people. Your problem can be like concerned by most people, right? Then you analyze the problem. Is that a good problem? Most people want to address this problem. If you solve the problem, it has very big impact. Even more, you need a search for a solution. Because you never know this problem, whether this problem be solved or not. What's the solution? They solve the problem. That's good problem, the solution or bad solution. When you analyze them, when you summarize them, you should be able to come up your own solution because you know this solution is bad. This solution is bad at some area. Maybe completion time is very slow. Maybe it's not very user friendly. Right? Maybe it's make people uncomfortable. You're trying to solve this problem and provide your solution. Then you specify your solution. So look at this example. First, trying to understand the environment. Okay, if I will ask you guys to design a system, train traffic system, and the stock trading system. What's the environment you try? You can just uh, think if you try to use these two systems. Okay. 
what's the environment? What's the environment for the train traffic system? Railway. So what's the environment for the railway? Environment could be a lot, right? What's the, yeah. Yeah, multiple lights, people's background, right? What's the budget? Right? Think about. For example, train traffic. The budget, what's the budget with the visa? Most of the train traffic, okay, is uh, funded by government. Right? This is the environment. How about security of the system? Yes, the tolerance for the security is very low. The zero tolerance, right? Because once there's some problem, we'll get very, very serious damage, right? There any other, other like environments you need to consider? consider? Um, for the train traffic system, the customers. Who would be the customer for the train traffic system? The passenger, the passenger, or the driver, or co coordinator. What? So who will? use this system most today? Uh, the driver. The driver and the coordinator, right? Yeah. Okay. So what's the background for that? What's the background? So basically you need to consider the use the target user, right? So what's the target user? What's the background of the user you want to consider? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. This is also you need to consider, right? Because the background of the user, right? Sometimes the cultural difference you need to consider as well, right? The language that you are using, the habits they are, the difference, right? Correct. Okay. So next one. Stock training system. What's the environment? What? It's for a company? Or can be used for a user, like individual people? Yes? So what's the background for that? Anyone like has a experience with like training the stock? Or you saw some video or some movie about trading? What do they want? What? Pardon me? Sell stock? Okay. What's the most need? Yes. So any of you 
watch some video, okay, in the like trading market. Is that intense when people trading? It's very intense, right? Why are they intense? Yes. So because it relate to the money, and in the market, they want to sell market, sell the stock quick, and buy the stock quick. If you want to develop this system, first, quick. Right, and most of the trader, okay, they got their own habit. They want a highly customized system for themselves. So you need to understand the environment to come up a good system, right? So that's what we need to know, the application domain and the solution domain. Okay, what's this application domain? Who participates in the system? What's the relationship between them? What activity they will perform? This is fundamental problem you need to consider. This domain help you to figure out Okay, what you really want to build. Who you want to build for? Right? What activity you want to you want to perform? Right? The most easy part for the trading system. What's act activity? Sell. Right? Buy. Most essential activities for the system, right? Who will use this system? Individual people, investor, trader, right? What's the relation between them? Yeah, money. If you want to buy, have to some people sell, right? This is the price and the value action. Once you understand those things, you need to figure out what's your solution domain. What's your budget? If your budget is very high, you can use a lot like almost fancy stuff. Right? Some people say, I'm, I, I, I don't have a budget, unlimited budget, which gives you much space to develop your application, right? But if you have limited budget, how you develop application under that budget? That's the problem and the question. Also, it's directly direct effect the complexity. Right? If you like limits, you have limit budget. Do you want to create a very fancy solution? At that time, you will think, I want this solution. It's easy to be maintained and easy to fix. Right? And I don't want to fancy like interface sometimes based on different 
target domain, target user, right? Like traffic, train traffic system. Do you care about the interface? Do you want this interface make fancy? No, because this system most of the time controlled by professional, controlled by expert, right? So the interface, fancy interface is not priority. What's priority? What? Speed? Yeah, it's also speed. But most important thing is how to make this system reliable and robust. Once the traffic system be crash, this will make very serious consequence, right? Correct? That's the thing you need to consider, usability. I don't want something very easy to crash and very hard to use. Even for experts, they think it's too hard to use. I cannot understand, right? So usability is also the big part you need to consider. Okay, so this is the example. I want you guys to think. Who would be role of this system? Yeah, read it. Then find out who would be role of this system. Who would be participate for this system? What's the role for this system? Louder. So this is the role? Okay. Anything else? Who would, who would use this system? Yeah. Passenger? Yeah. Right. And what's the role of the system between the passenger? Only distributor? Distributor? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's they deal with exception? Okay, you need to figure out who will solve the exception. Also, implied the essential roles of the system. Right? What's the activities here? Any tasks? The ticket distributor? What's the activities? Yes. Um, selecting a ticket, whether it's like a single or multiple trip, um, time card, availability, mm-hmm. and things like the child and adult. Yes. Do I have like a payload lot bill? Yes. Oh, there's some exception I need to handle. The exception is uh, activities. Yes, right? So also, this is a task. They need to handle different exceptions. Right? OK. And they need to handle what kind of, like, is an adult or is a child. Depend on them. You come up different activities and different tasks, right? Okay, so here. This is a quiz for this week, Friday, okay? First, the first one, give me the two example, okay, which is using model to explain the existing idea. And Explain no longer exist either. Okay, and how you can explain. Okay, like ex- example I gave for the dinosaur. Okay, we use an ontology, the system, the model to explain. Okay, there's something before us, they already exist there, but right now no longer exist. Okay, try to search to find an example and tell me why and how you can explain this. Okay, this helps you to understand the advantage of the model. Okay, then try your best to do the research about computer science or software engineering. Okay how demonstrate the model to solve existing problems. Okay, I give you some hint, okay? You can think about some testing, some prediction, some training part, okay? We used for, we use model to do the testing to do the prediction, to do the training, okay? Then you need to explain why you think it's great to use this model. What if we don't use the model? What's the consequence? Okay. I can give you some hint. For example, people using the big data to predict, okay, last year, November, the COVID-19 would be spread very fast. Okay, this is a model. If we don't use that model, 
people is very hard to prevent the virus spread. Right? If we already can predict, okay, November is most crazy months for for the virus. So everyone will be aware and be cautious. Okay, wear a mask, cover your mouth, wash your hand very frequently. Right? Think about it. in computer science. Okay, anything, any case. Okay, we try to use model to solve the problem and answer me those questions. Okay, that's prediction or that testing or that training. And explain to me, okay, why this is great to use model. If I don't use this model, what's the consequence? Is it bad or good? Right? Why is it good? Why is it bad? Give me some example. Okay, try to convince me. Okay, those questions you have to look up the internet and the other books materials by yourself. Okay, it's very like open question, but I need you guys to think, to justify. Okay, question? Question? Good, therefore class.